Father, we are grateful unto you this morning for this opportunity and privilege of coming together in this place, especially this week, the family week. Father, we are grateful, accept our praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we want to look into your word now. What a Christian home should be in a time like this. Open our eyes, open our heart of understanding this morning. And let all what we are looking at this morning be registered in our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Help us to be the doers and not just hearers, 
so that it can be of great benefit unto our families in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's be seated. We thank God for this family week. And it is good that a time like this, since we are all families, we need to know what it entails for a family to be that of a Christian. That is why I just want to talk to us this morning on a Christian home. A Christian home dash many heaven. Home or family was instituted by God Himself. And the institution took place right from the second book of Genesis. So from here you can see how important a family is unto God Almighty. And he created man first. And that is why we where we read in let's look at our text this morning that's uh, Psalm 128. Psalm 128. Psalm 128. He said, Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord that walketh in his ways, for thou shalt eat the labor of thy hand. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Now, he's referring to man. Those two verses. Why do I say that? Look at verse 3. Say, thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the size of thy house. Thy children like olive plant run about thy table. So when he says thy wife, it means it's been, it's been talking to man all this while. Now, let's now look at correlation in that uh, Genesis chapter 2. I said it's referring to a man there. Look at Genesis chapter 2. Verse 18. And the Lord said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. So you can see from there that man is always the head in the family. As, as Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Look at the same Genesis 2 verse 22. Okay, look at verse 21. And the Lord and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. Adam, that's man. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the, and the rib which the, Lord, which the Lord God had taken from man made he who? A woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore, shall a man, you see, it's referring to a man, a man. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be how many flesh? One flesh. Oluwa Olorun si mo re jika kun Adam o si sun o si yo kan ninu egugun iha re o si fi eran di ipo re Oluwa Olorun si fi egugun iha ti o mu ni iha okunrin na mo obirin o si mu to okunrin na wa Adam si pe yi ni egugun ninu egugun mi ati eran ra ninu eran ra mi obirin ni a o ma pe nitori ti a mu nja le lati ara okunrin nitori na ni okunrin okunrin yo si se ma fi baba ohun iya re sile yo si fi ara mu aya re won o si di ara kan awon mejeji si wa won si di ara kan so from here, we can see that man, 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 you will leave your, your father, your mother, you will cleave to your wife. But 
a family does not just contain man and woman. Man, woman, and who? Children. And if you look at when Isaac got married to Rebecca, when they pray for them, look at it in Genesis 24. Because they know that the plan of God is for a man and a woman to come together and bear children. So in Genesis 24, verse 60, Sixty. And they blessed Rebecca and said unto her, Thou art our sister, be thou the mother of how many? Thousands of what? And let thy seed possess the gate of those that hate them. If a family is about thousands of millions, who will confront those families to fight with them? I pray this morning. Every home that is not complete, this year is your year. You will give testimony in Jesus' name. Now, we can see the foundation of a family now. Mother, father, mother, children. Baba, Iya, Ati Awomo. Now going back to Psalm 128. And it's now telling them what it takes. Oh, one so for on Tony Low. That's let's quickly see the place again. Psalm. One two eight. So if we are lacking in our responsibilities as men, we need to sit up. They say, Thy wife shall be as a fruit, fruitful vine by the side of thy house, that thy children like olive plant run about thy table. Already he spoke to man in verses 1 and 2. And now he's adding the wife in, wife and children in verse 3. He said, round the table. Not just to eat bread. As we are feeding them with bread, you feed them with the word of God. When you gather your children together, and that is why, as the head of the family, that is man. You must know what it means to be a man. You, you gather your, your children together with your wife as the head in that family, not just providing food for them, you feed them with the word of God. And when you do that, who will reap the benefit? Look at it in verse 22. I mean, uh, uh, Psalm. 22. Sorry, Proverbs 22. You are the one that will reap the, the, the fruit there. So, as a father, is now telling you, say, train up a child in the way he should go. He should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So, that is how a family should be. As the head of the family, you feed your children, you feed your wife with the word of God. And when you do that, what will be the benefit? 
He said, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. He's referring to children. Because as fathers today, as mothers today, when it is time, we will go home. We will be left behind. So it is as we train them that, that they will take care of that family. When, I mean, you can see what is happening today in Nigeria. The rich men in our midst after their demise what happened to the properties they left behind Why? because the children were not trained in the fear and admonition of God in verse 15 then how do you train them up he said foolishness is bound in the heart of a child but the rod of correction shall drive it far from them. Some people, what they are supposed to correct their children is what they are using to pamper them. It is unfortunate today that in our primary schools they are importing foreign ideas these children don't beat them don't touch them just talk to them the corruption that is happening there through their youth is what they are bringing on to us here your family will not be a victim a friend travel abroad through this visa lottery. They got there. They called. And they were saying, ah, they thank God. By the grace of God, they are one of the people we minister to. They said, ah, when we got there, it's only my husband that is working. What are you doing? That's the wife. Say, I cannot work because I don't want, I cannot leave these children to be going to school and coming back home alone. Oh, yeah, what's up? Oh, come in the corner. She said, Why you pick a lot of tea? What she said, Only only if you are one who's late. You want to see, wake up to part of the day. You want to see, one in the is fully in charge of these children. Oh, what, what, new part of my touch? I want to see, we take them. To school, she will go and bring them home. I lost the lay, we let you know, but I was the When you saw the corruption among the children, among the youth, so as Christians, we should not be like them. Our children should not be like them. They should see our children and know that no, this, this one is different. That Lord will help us. And every home where there is no peace, where they are crying, when they are suffering because of their children, there will be peace in that home in Jesus' name. But for that peace to reign, look at Proverbs 29, verse 17. Proverbs 29, 17. Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yea, he shall, he, shall, he shall give the light unto thy soul. Many souls are crying today. Many souls are troubled today. Because of their children. The Lord will help us. And uh, before we pray, uh, I said, when there's a father, when there's a mother, and uh, when Isaac got married to Rebecca, and the family members pray for them, thousands of millions of children. But for adventure today, there are some homes that are not complete. Why? No children. 
But I'm assuring you today. I'm giving you good news today. That this year will be your year. Because the word of God says it. In Psalm 113. Verse 9. It's God that maketh it. It's not man. That's Psalm 113 verse 9. He, he maketh the barren woman to keep house. And to be a joyful mother of children. I want us to take it as a prayer now. Because if you look, it says, Praise ye the Lord. We will read it together now after the count of two. And we will say, Praise ye the Lord. Why? Because it, 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 it is done already for them. After the count of two. Okay, one, two. Are we there? Shati de bedi. Psalm one one three. Verse, verse, verse nine. So we read together now. One two go. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah. Let's rise up to pray. Pray. How is your family? This is family week. Report yourself to the Lord. So, is, 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 is the maker, is the arranger of families. If your family is not enjoying the benefit of Christianity or the purpose for which God has created it, why can't you pray now? And tell the Lord. Look at my family, Lord. Why is this? Why is that? If it's my fault, have mercy upon me today. Pray, tell the Lord. It is my fault. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. As fathers, as mothers, I don't want to go to hell because of because of my my my, my negligence over these children. And if you have any wayward children, pray. Pray for them this morning. The Lord will arrest their heart. The heart of the king is in the, in the, is in the heart of the Lord. If you are not married yet, just beg God this morning. That you want his best, not your own best. Because if you take your own best, not God's best, there will be regret. There will be a regret. And jointly pray for those that are looking up unto the Lord for the fruit of the womb. Tell God every closed womb, the Lord will open them. The Lord will make them mothers. Because on this mountain, they are going to possess their possession. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful this morning. You have tagged this week, week, family week. And that is why we are, we are opening up unto you concerning the position, the situation in our families. Father, I pray this morning you will look down from heaven. Amen. You are the one that instituted homes. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
Look down from heaven this morning. Every home that is not a mini heaven here on earth this morning, visit those homes today and let there be restoration of peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, every home where there is no peace, where there is no joy, where children are wayward, Father, just have mercy upon them. Amen. As they have cried unto you for mercy, grant unto them your mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. Every wayward children bringing sorrow to the father, to the mother. Father, I pray this day you will arrest their heart. You will create your fear in their heart. And they will turn unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, for those that are looking up unto you, I will not call them barren. Because you said there shall be no barren in your house. Father, I pray this morning, this year, this year, Lord God Almighty, they have been coming to this mountain for long. And it, it wasn't the first year that uh, that woman visited Shiloh that you granted, Anna visited Shiloh that you granted her request. Father, I pray they have been coming for long this year. Lord, you will make them mothers to keep homes in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatsoever is repelling conception, this money, that blood, we enter there now and wash them off in Jesus' name. Amen. Let there be joy in your home. Amen. Let there be joy in your church. Amen. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 We want to pray more. I think by Drassi. Today, Loni, like every Thursday Sunday of the month, Gege B or Joyce Miketa Osho Shushiman, God Himself uh, gave us instruction that we should set it apart for uh, family as family week. To examine issues that relate to our family and as well pray over it and that you will hear from heaven and uh, intervene. Because we are intimating you with this issue because of the newcomers and the visitors in our midst. And believe that there's no family that do not need prayer. Isn't it? This time around, even right now, um, we want to make it an individual um, uh, determination to pray through concerning your life and your family. That is, if you realize that your family need prayer, that your wife need prayer, that your husband need prayer, what about the children? I believe they need special prayer as well. What about the individuals? Whether married or single. That is, spinsters or bachelors. They believe in prayer. In order not to take wrong step. Because I always emphasize on this. I'm not saying this because I'm a prophet. Oh, I'm, I'm not saying this because I'm a prophet alone. Oh, but I'm saying it by his grace 
from the little experience as a believer and as well um, in the ministry. If you are in this assembly, as a youth, and with all this uh, opportunity that God has given to us to listen to um, anointed uh, teachings from the Word of God, and yet you still stop only, uh, take the wrong step. Uh, uh, God, God will have mercy on you. Because I don't know what will happen after after all this warning. Because God knows. I've made up my mind to sacrifice my whole life to make sure that uh, those that God has committed unto me, whether one, two, three, ten, or a thousand, that uh, they fulfill their divine destiny and as well reign with Christ the last day. And that is why I take time to pray, to fast, to seek the face of God concerning uh, every church member so that you will not take a step uh, that will affect your destiny negatively which uh, you may regret in eternity. And those that have um, made the mistake um, before they know the Lord to make sure they pray through and um, God have mercy of them and see them through. Amen. I believe you get my point. <laughs> Thus says the Lord. My children. I am in your midst. To hear your prayer. And I want you to cry unto me. Concerning or the challenges that face your families. And I will hear from heaven. Praise be unto you. Amen. I mean, I always share my always prayer with you from time to time. I didn't hide it to you. And there's a reason for it. So that we know that God is no respecter of man. Are you to tell us when God used to uh, um, emphasize to me saying seek time to pray for your family than before. I thought God would understand that I love people visiting them praying with them at times organizing special vigil for families individually and at times collectively then I didn't understand until when problems started to uh, and God was telling me what did I tell you that you should pray for your family and therefore if I warn you this time around and you take it as a, as a, as a light issue or light matter if you come to me I will tell you the same thing. 
that this problem is beyond me. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that you not regret in Jesus' name. Yeah. Uh, a fetus in the womb needs prayers. You that you are pregnant, that you are facing challenges all around, no, 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 that you are running all around, no, 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 fighting all around, uh -huh. fighting, quarreling, abusing, causing your husband. I just when I, if I want you, I take it, you take it as a life matter. I know I shame me gone. Told you we Why? Oh, my all the things we are doing when the fetus is still in the womb oh, it will affect that <laughs> fetus a young child that you don't pray for very well when the time comes uh, that prayers may not quickly be answered as when you pray for the Iba, blood from the young stage. The little he has said we will understand it. And if you think you don't need prayers, the Lord has answered your whole prayers. You can direct the prayer to you, to me, to me your son, point. and the Lord will reciprocate re re that to you. As God has led us. You are be alone to that one. Rather, your fear begin to pray for yourself and your family. Right? Oh yeah, the devil come back, but draw far away at the dinner. Rakuri ka siri ko soro ka siri ko soko ba karaka shida ba. Rakuri ka siri ko soko ka shida ba. Yare ke puri ka siri ko soko ka shida ba. Puri ka puri ka siri ka horka puri ka shida ba. Yare ke puri ka siri ko soko ba karaka shida. Yare ka puri ka puri ka siri ka shida ba. Raku pa puri ka siri ko soko ba shida. Yare ke puri ka siri ka soko ba shida ba. Ku pa puri ka siri ko soko ka shida ba. Oh, raka pure ka siri ko soko ba shida ba. Raku ka pure ka siri ka horka pure ka shida ba. Aha. Benny. Aha. Benny. Oh, raka siri ka hor. Pray that God you have mercy on you, on you and on your family. Badura kwe kyo luwa kyo shano fun wati dile re. Pray very well. Badura dara dara. Pray aggressively. Badura titara titara. 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 Aha. Rakuri kaseri kusoko kashiri kaseva sida. Ora kaseri kusoko ba kara kashida ba. Aha. Beni. 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 Orika, orika, siri kusoma kama. Orika, siri kasi daba. Orika, orika, siri kasi daba. It is not too late to pray for them now. But who pray for them? Because God is instructing us to pray. Kosi, kwa juu fanya lati shatu shaba lati badura toni kwa lugha fanya re. Long time wala lati badura. Pray, 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 pray. Badura, Badura. And the Lord will have mercy on you. Olu wa yosi shanu fuo. Rakuri kasiri kuhuri kapuri kashida ba. Aha. Beni. 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 Huri kapuri kasiri kashida ba. Yere kuhuri kasiri kashida ba. Rakuri kapuri kasiri kashida ba. Ore ka pure ka siri ko soko ba shida ba. Ere ka pure ka siri ka sida ha ba sida ba. Ra ku pa kore ka siri ko soko ba sida ba. Ku pa kore ka siri ka sida ba. Pray for your wife. Badura fun yawo re. Pray for your for your for your husband. Badura fun ko re. Pray for your children. Badura fun awon mo re. Children pray for your parents. Eyin omo e badura fun awon obi yin. You pray for yourself and pray for your for your for your parents. Eh yo, do I go through a fire? I can't go through a fire. Obi, Ora ka pore ka side ko soko ba ha. Aha. Benny. Aha. Benny. Aha. Benny. Aha. Benny. Ora ka pore ka side ko soko ka shida ba. Ere ke pore ka side ka shida ba. Ere ke pore ka side ka shida ba. O pa pore ka side ka shida ba. Ora ka pore ka side ko soko ba shida ba. Ere ke pore ka side ka shida ba. 
Benny, 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, worship. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, worship.